Transfer News Live, Dembele chooses Chelsea, Rashford to Tottenham. Transfer News Live. The summer transfer window is almost open for business, with Chelsea reportedly the front runners in the race to sign Barcelona's Ausmane Dembele as they also rival Arsenal for Gabriel Jesus as a potential Romelu Lukaku replacement. Tottenham have seen an approach for Marcus Rashford rebuffed by Manchester United, who want to sign Dutch duo Frankie de Jong and Jurian Timber. United are also in talks over Darwin Nunez, but could be beaten to that particular deal by rivals Liverpool, who are said to be preparing an opening offer for the Benfica striker. Italy defender Alessandro Bastoni looks to be staying at Inter Milan, who are pushing hard to secure Lukaku's return, while Bayern Munich have failed with a second bid for Sadio Mane. Check out the latest transfer news live with Standard Sports blog below. Is Frankie de Jong on his way to Manchester United? Eric Ten Hag is keen to make the Barcelona midfielder and Dutch teammate Jurian Timber among his first signings at Old Trafford this summer. United are known to have been in talks over De Jong for some time now as fans wait with bated breath for fresh updates. The Daily Express cites a new report suggesting that the 25-year-old is the only Barca player to have completely emptied their locker at Camp Nou. A sign that a deal is imminent? Liverpool appear to be pressing ahead with their attempts to sign Darwin Nunez. The Reds are targeting Benfica's Uruguayan marksman as a replacement for Sadio Mane, who himself is being pursued by Bayern Munich as a successor to the wantaway Robert Lewandowski. However, Liverpool face competition from several other top European clubs in the race for Nunez, including Manchester United. According to Fabrizio Romano, Liverpool are preparing an opening, verbal bid for the 22-year-old that could be worth around €80 million. Euros. However, the transfer guru adds that United are also in talks with Nunez's camp, with both rivals having made it clear that they won't be dragged into a bidding war. Chelsea are reportedly the front runners to sign Ausmain Dembel this summer. Dembel looks poised to leave Barcelona after all when his contract expires, despite a late season renaissance under Xavi suggesting that his future may still lie at Camp Nou. The French attacker certainly does not appear short on options as he weighs up his next move, though LE10 Sport claim that he has settled on a move to Stamford Bridge. Speaking of Manchester United and Tottenham, it appears that Marcus Rashford will not be moving between those Premier League rivals. Italian super agent Roberto De Fanti recently revealed that Spurs had held discussions with the England forwards camp following a hugely disappointing season at Old Trafford in which he scored just five goals in 32 appearances across all competitions under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralph Rangnick. Multiple clubs in Italy and Spain were also said to have made enquiries over Rashford's availability. According to the Times, Tottenham's attempts to sign Rashford have been quickly rebuffed by United, who no doubt want new boss Eric Ten Hag to properly assess his situation. It looks like bad news for Tottenham in their pursuit of top defensive target Alessandro Bastoni. Spurs were known to be targeting a deal for the Italy centre-back, having already convinced his inter-team mate Ivan Perisic to swap Milan for North London this summer on a two-year contract. Manchester United are also interested in Bastoni, though agent Tulio Tinti insists he will not be departing the San Siro, where he remains under contract until June 2024. Bastoni will stay at Inter for sure, Tinti said. He has a contract, and he's happy with Inter. The confirmed transfers are coming thick and fast in the Premier League this afternoon. Newcastle have now announced a return of Matt Target from Aston Villa on a permanent deal worth around £12 million. The 26-year-old left-back spent the second half of last season on loan at St. James Park, making 16 appearances during the Eddie Howe-led revival and clearly impressing the former Bournemouth boss. Target has penned a four-year contract on Tyneside, becoming Newcastle's first signing of what is sure to be a busy summer window under their new owners. Leeds have clinched a deal to sign Rasmus Christensen, the club have announced. The Danish right-back, formerly of Ajax, will move to Ellen Road on July 1 after a fee of around £10 million was agreed with Austrian outfit RB Salzburg. Christensen has penned a five-year contract at Leeds, where he will join former Salzburg teammate Brendan Aronson. Leeds struck a £22.2 million deal for the United States winger last month, their first signing of a key summer, after avoiding Premier League relegation on the final day of the season. BBC Sport claim Takumi Minamino is attracting interest from home and abroad. Monaco are said to have joined Leeds, Fulham, Wolves, and Southampton in the race to sign the Liverpool man, who rarely gets a game, when Jurgen Klopp has a fully fit squad from which to choose. Despite his lack of game time, however, Liverpool will reportedly demand up to £17 million for the player. Fabrizio Romano claims Alessandro Bastoni's agent is to hold a meeting with Inter Milan top brass. 
indeed, it is understood they are still waiting to know if Tottenham will launch a bid to sign the defender or move on to other targets. Brighton's Yves Bissama is seemingly constantly linked with a move away from the club. While suggestions he could join the likes of Arsenal and Manchester United appear to have waned of late, Aston Villa had been mooted as a potential landing spot, the Athletic, however, claims Steven Gerrard is ready to pull the plug on his interest and focus on other targets.